hi guys welcome to how to in this video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your hosting account via your cPanel and then I am going to use a program that will help you install a WordPress within a few clicks so let's sign into the cPanel first so this is the cPanel or control panel that you see when you sign into your uh, hosting account it may look different a bit different on other hosting services sometimes it may have a different UI user interface but however uh, a lot of features may look similar so crawling down you will see a section named uh, software and service nowadays all web hosts offer some kind of a program that allows you to install wordpress in a few clicks especially those for those who don't have good background on installing or getting their hands dirty doing some programs and codes or commands so the program that i'm going to use is softeclus however some hosts also offer some different programs for installing WordPress or some other softwares on your server. So to start with, click the Softaculous icon, then you will be served with a page full of uh, web applications that you can install on your web host. Here you can see the first one you see is WordPress. Then on the left pane of Softaculous control panel, you can see a huge list of programs that they offer. Then on the first one is blog, and the first one in the blog section is the WordPress. To start with WordPress, just click the WordPress and you'll be taken to the WordPress page and you can see a different uh, features here that you can check like writing reviews, uh, screenshots and features etc. This is an easy install, you know it takes a few minutes and you can also use demo site and play around with the admin area of WordPress. Then on the feature tab you can see the features of the main features of the WordPress. To start installing, click the install button and you will be served with form that you need to uh, fill up before uh, installing. Here you can see the first uh, one in the form is in the software setup. So you need to choose some options here. The first one is choose protocol. On which protocol your site to be loading here HTTP, HTTP slash uh, www or non www or HTTPS. HTTPS is for more secure website. If you need a, a secure uh, sign-in option, so you need to activate uh, HTTPS option, to, uh, especially like uh, social sites or e-commerce website or any other kind of service site that uh, with a lot of members signing up. However, I am using HTTP and WW. Then the next is choose a domain. The domain you need to install the WordPress on. Then in the directory, actually you, you don't need to uh, use any directory because you need to install the software uh, in the root folder so that uh, visitors can directly go to www.domain.com not www.domain.com slash directory. Okay? So you just need to leave this uh, section blank and the next one is uh, database name here you can uh, choose what are the name you want uh, I'm going to uh, leave it default you can change you can use numbers and letters and uh, this next one is database settings so here you need to take care when you uh, choose a name for this especially this is a prefix for your database tables you know so WP the default table for WordPress database so hackers do know about this so you may need to change this to something else that hackers don't get it if you use WP that may be exploited to get into your database or get into your website the next one the next one is uh, site settings mm, this is where you enter your blog name or website name or site description etc here enter your blog uh, your website name then next in the next line you need to enter your site description in the next line you can see the enable multi-site uh, options here if you want to enable uh, multi-site options for your wordpress blog you can check this however i don't want this feature so i'm just leaving unchecked the next thing here is admin account here also you need to be careful I mean uh, you need to uh, change the default username you, you shouldn't use this admin thing because 
uh, the people who are familiar with WordPress know that uh, the default username is admin so they may try to hack into your account using this username and some passwords you know and also make sure you uh, choose a tough password that uh, hackers can't uh, figure out you can use the, the key icon to produce a password uh, for you so that it will be a bit tough password and if you want to change that password you can uh, change that password from your admin panel and admin email you need to enter your email that you want to send this set of details so if you have already created admin user email for your hosting account you can enter that email here and if you have any other email personal email or gmail or any email you can use them next one is choose the language so the default language for the wordpress is english then uh, wordpress also supports some other major languages so that you can choose if you want to run your website in your local language you can choose that uh, language next one is select a plugin option if you want to install a plugin with this uh, wordpress installation you can choose this is a security plugin they, it will limit sign-in attempts for your wordpress however i'm not going to choose this i'll be using a different one so the next one is an advanced option where you can enable and disable some features of the wordpress here they like auto upgrade for wordpress auto upgrade you know disable update notification if you don't want update notifications about the wordpress then you can uncheck then one of the cool thing about the software is that it has built-in backup feature so if you enable this feature your wordpress will be backed up and you can choose how many days you want but make sure that you're you have enough disk space that to keep this much backup and the next one is a selected theme you know actually wordpress comes with a default theme but if you don't want that default theme and if you want to choose a different theme from that you can choose from here or this is a these are actually you know premium themes but uh, sometimes you know uh, they may be enough uh, even with uh, you don't you may not need to upgrade to the premium level but uh, this may be uh, enough for your website but try so there are some uh, cool looking themes here especially for magazines and business and you can try if you want then if you don't want you can uninstall if you if you are not satisfied with these features and if you don't want to upgrade to the premium version of the theme the last one is the email uh, if you want to send these details to someone else other than your uh, admin email account you can use that uh, settings again uh, review your settings and make sure that you have entered everything correct so everything is fine so I'm going to install the WordPress on my hosting account. Actually, this takes only a few minutes uh, to do this. Then after doing that, you can sign into your account with the password and uh, the username you have uh, created for your WordPress account. Uh, you can customize your website and having a little bit knowledge about PHP and uh, WordPress API will help you a lot. And you can Google, you know, there are a lot of educational websites, especially for programmers dedicated to WordPress. There are a lot of websites that will help you learn uh, more about WordPress. So try to learn more about WordPress. It's really powerful uh, blogging platform that you can use, you can get in the market. And this is also open source. You don't need to worry about your, uh, like, uh, uh, programming or PHP and things they will be working every year you know each and every month to make the wordpress better then here is the admin panel and the website link here uh, the first one is your website front uh, you know front end uh, link to your front end so this is the website that i have just uh, installed you know i have i chose a, a theme for my uh, website and this is a theme uh, for my website so this is the website then here is the admin panel to sign into the account just use your sign in credentials that you created while installing the wordpress on your hosting account this is the admin area where you control your uh, wordpress features like wordpress settings appearance themes and you can from here you can change the theme uh, if you want to switch between theme and you can also upload new themes by clicking add new theme you can uh, you'll be taken to a new page from there you can upload and if you have already downloaded anything you can use a, a zip file uh, 
it should be zip file if you want to upload through the WordPress admin panel. And there are three built-in default themes, uh, the latest 2014 theme and there are uh, some other two, 2013 and 2012. Uh, here are, there are also some two uh, plugins that come with WordPress and if you want to install more plugins you can go to add new. Sometimes I'll be making video about plugins that you must use after you, you install your WordPress. There are some plugins that you must use for your WordPress. Some are like SEO plugins, uh, some gallery plugins and uh, custom post type plugins or so and so. I'll be making a separate video about that. See a lot of plugins here and you can select which one you want. Uh, from here by clicking more details you will get more details about each plugin in like review and its features etc. Then clicking install button it will install a new plugin. So or I'm going to install a plugin so that site will go under construction. The cool thing about WordPress is that, that there are hundreds of thousands of uh, WordPress uh, plug free WordPress plugins that you can use to improve the features and uh, increase your WordPress installation features. Actually you don't need to worry about your programs and things you want to easily launch a website, WordPress is the best option and WordPress is also highly customizable. If you know a little bit about PHP, CSS and HTML, it will help you a lot and lot to improve your website appearance. Here you can see a review of that WordPress plugin. It's a plugin that will put your website on under development. You can see the review here and yeah, this is a plugin used by uh, hundreds of thousands of people and I have installed the plugin and to activate the plugin you just click the activate link then you'll be taken to the plugin page and from there you can go to settings sometimes if you don't see a separate icon for that plugin um, it will be under settings you know you'll see the coming soon then here you need to enable this plugin to activate the feature and if you want to add some other things in like headline and images etc for your upcoming uh, website page it's really easy all you know all what you need to do is just play around and read everything and if you have some doubts just google there is a huge resource wordpress resource that will help you learn more about wordpress and I'll also be making more videos like this that will be helping you because I've been doing this for some years so I hope I could uh, help you on more doing more things on your website especially if you use WordPress so uh, here you can add some information about your new website under development you can give uh, further details like contact details then you can also customize your page under development page. Once you're done, just make sure you save changes so that these new features and uh, the customization will take effect on your website. So it's saving, so it's saved. Now if you go to the front end and you'll see a new page about our upcoming website and some information that I have uh, given in the back end that will be shown in the front end. Then you need to reload this page, you know. Here it is, Onyx installation coming soon. This is a coming soon page. You can customize this page. You can add logo and more information and or a background image. There are premium plugins, free plugins. So always make sure you test that plugin or at least you should re uh, read the review about that plugin. Uh, if the plugin is great, you know, a lot of people use then you must uh, see a good feedback and you should also see a lot of uh, downloads. You can see download numbers. And if you go to the download option, we hope this helps. And I'll be making more videos like this, uh, not only about WordPress, also about some other computer tips. So please subscribe to the channel for more videos uh, like this, and uh, also feel free to drop your comments. And if you have any doubts, you can drop it in the comment section, and I'll I'll try my best to uh, reply. I'll be with your first project or your first website. So thank you for watching.